Now we are in the hustle and bustle of Salzburg between Linzergasse and Getreidegasse, on the other side of the Staatsbrücke, which is just behind us. Although there is a buzzing activity around us, we are now surrounded by an oasis of tranquility, created by Marina Abramovic, an artist who was born in Belgrade, Serbia, and who is now artist-in-residence in New York. She is a jury member of the Venice International Film Festival, and here she created a magnificent work of art for Salzburg. Sit down, relax and enjoy the beautiful surroundings. Had we been sitting here 180 years ago, we would have been soaked because it's the former riverbed of the Salzach. Look towards Linzegasse, downstream to your right, and note that in the past the water reached the front of these houses. And it was the same on the other side of the river. The roads on both banks of the Salzach, where we can see the busy traffic now, didn't exist in those days. In 1860, before Salzburg was connected to the railway network, horse-drawn stagecoaches dominated the city. The building of the railway line towards Salzburg made extremely good progress. It was constructed under Karl Freiherr von Schwarz, who was a building contractor from what is today the Czech Republic, but in former days his birth town Ostrau belonged to the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy. Mr. Mertens, Salzburg's mayor at that time, commissioned Karl Freiherr von Schwarz to do some building work in Salzburg. Salzburg wanted to remove its defense ramparts, which were built under Archbishop Count Paris Lodron, because they were not needed anymore. The mayor of Salzburg was too late in asking the emperor in Vienna for financial support. Vienna and Graz had gotten a lot of money and he left empty-handed. But with the advice from the emperor, Salzburg had to find a way to finance the task by itself. Karl Freiherr von Schwarz, builder of the railway line, proposed an interesting deal to the mayor of Salzburg. He suggested the town left him the defense ramparts for free, which he promised to take down in his own time and at his own expense. In return, he offered to regulate the river Salzach to gain new land on condition that he would later be the owner of this newly reclaimed land. The deal was made. The area from Staatsbrücke down to the Bastionsgarten on Merobel Garden, the whole stretch where we can now see the Hotel Sacher and the Evangelische Christuskirche was filled up. And Karl Freiherr von Schwarz was the owner of this newly reclaimed land. He was one of Salzburg's first self-made wealthy citizens. He owned a huge park and a palace where he kept a large cast of the poet Friedrich Schiller, whom he greatly admired. This statue of Friedrich von Schiller can now be found close to the Festspielhäuser, the festival district.